So now that we have a selection, we have a confined area in which we're going to edit. However, we are concerned if I turn the apple layers back on, we're not concerned with editing the apples inside our selection, we're actually concerned with editing the apples on the outside of the selection. And so let me illustrate what's going to happen if I start to use this selection. So I'm grabbing a paintbrush, click on our container layer here, and it's orange. And so when I start to paint, you see no orange until I enter the selection. And then you can see that I'm painting with an orange color. But that's not what I want. I want to be able to erase along the outside of the selection. And so what I need to do is I need to switch my selection. I don't want to have the inside of the container selected. I want the outside. And you can switch the selection by choosing Select and then Inverse. Now it's actually really easy to clean up the edges of your shape. We can turn all of the layers back on of our apples. Um, I want to make sure that I'm on the layer of the apple that I want to edit. And so if I turn the eyeball off on this apple here, I can see that that's apple one, copy two. Now I have the outside selected, so if I start painting, I'll paint with orange. But if I grab my eraser tool that we were just using, and now if I use the eraser tool, I can erase all the way up to the border of the shape without having to worry about whether or not I'm meeting the, the edge of the shape. I'm not, I don't have any risk of erasing any part of the apple that I don't want. And so I can rotate and I can say, okay, well, this is the next apple that I need to work on. Select that layer. And then now you can erase the edge of the apple. I like you to give that a try. And once you have erased the edges of the apples that you don't want to see or whatever elements you're using, you can move on to the next video.